China is building the world's most powerful wind tunnel to simulate hypersonic travel as fast as 12 kilometers per second. Hypersonic aircraft are able to travel at least five times the speed of sound. With fast development of China's aviation industry in recent decades, China's modern main fighter jets have made a leap from the J-10 to the J-20. It is also an internationally recognized time for replacement of the third-generation fighter jets with the fifth-generation fighter jets. In addition to the merits of various aviation technologies, wind tunnels have also played an important role in the birth of several generations of fighter jets. In the 1950s, aviation powers headed by the United States and Soviet Union began the development of jet aircraft. A wind tunnel so-called an aircraft hatchery was also under construction. Although China's aero engines and many other aviation technologies are temporarily still behind the USA in some aspects, China's development of giant advanced wind tunnels has never stopped. The level of technology has always been at the forefront of the world. Recently, an article published by the China Aviation Industry Aerodynamics Research Institute has attracted widespread media attention. The article mainly elaborates that the academic staff of the AVIC Pneumatic Institute challenge the difficulties facing the current predicament of the COVID pandemic. In mid of 2020, it had fully resumed work, ensuring the progress of the research and development of the FL-62 wind tunnel, which is a national key project. At present, as reporting now, this transonic wind tunnel has entered the joint testing phase as a whole. The detailed design and adjustments were carried out as scheduled. The delivery was expected and completed on schedule in 2020. So what is this FL-62 transonic wind tunnel? As a key research and development project of China, what is the technical uniqueness of the wind tunnel? The types of wind tunnels in China are mainly measured by Mach size, which is the ratio of the airspeed simulated by the wind tunnel to the speed of sound. It is roughly divided into low-speed wind tunnels, high-speed wind tunnels, subsonic wind tunnels, transonic wind tunnels, supersonic wind tunnels and pulse-hurst shockwave wind tunnels. The wind tunnel between 0.5 times the speed of sound and 1.3 times the speed of sound is the so-called cross sound sound wind tunnel or so-called transonic wind tunnels. The total weight of the FL-62 transonic wind tunnel developed by AVIC is as high as 6,620 tons, and the volume occupied by the wind tunnel reaches 17,000 cubic meters. The FL-62 transonic wind tunnel is also China's first continuous transonic wind tunnel. Its technical level is in a leading position in the world. In addition to being a stable wind field for measuring fighter data, the FL-62 wind tunnel also has a high level of various technical indicators. It can conduct aeroelasticity, thrust vectoring, dynamic performance and fluid mechanics tests according to the needs of fighters. The FL-62 transonic wind tunnel is also equipped with an 80,000 kW drive compressor, which ensures sufficient power to provide a high-speed wind field. As a pioneer wind tunnel for the development of a new generation of fighter jets in China, multiple technologies of the FL-62 transonic wind tunnel have been applied for the first time to lay a solid foundation for China's future wind tunnel construction. With FL-62, it can continuously provide supersonic flow field, transonic flow adjustment, and can also accurately adjust the simulated Mach number and various wind tunnel auxiliary systems, which pave the way for the development of China's next-generation fighter jets. This is the largest continuous transonic wind tunnel in China, the FL-62 wind tunnel. It is located in a modern laboratory of the Aerospace Industry Institute. The volume is about 17,000 cubic meters and the weight is about 6,620 tons. The wind tunnel is known as the fighter hatchery. It is impossible to develop advanced fighter jets without advanced wind tunnel test equipment. In 1955, China's first wind tunnel was built in Harbin. However, if we want to complete the transition from a major aviation country to a powerful aviation country, we cannot do without the FL-62 wind tunnel. It is the most advanced large-scale continuous transonic speed wind tunnel in the world. I am now in the largest continuous transonic wind tunnel in the world. 
The size of the interior of this wind tunnel is very spacious, reaching 2.7 meters wide. This is the model of the large domestic aircraft C-919, specially used for wind tunnel tests. In fact, the first time I came to the inside of the wind tunnel, I would find that it was full of a sense of technology, especially since these holes are all around, and the size of these holes can be adjusted. Why are there so many holes? It turns out that they are to adjust the quality of the airflow field. During testing, we can simulate an airplane flying in the air to obtain more accurate and realistic data. We see that there is a solid metal wall behind the C919 model. This wall is actually called a scimitar mechanism. It is used to adjust the pitch of the aircraft. That axis is used to control the roll of the airplane. But when the testing really starts, the wind blows from this direction, then blows through the model, and finally blows out from this direction. A cycle is formed under the action of air compression, so as to achieve continuous wind flow. How difficult is it to build an advanced wind tunnel, comparable to the development of a new fighter? As the heart power source of the continuous wind tunnel, the compressor required by this wind tunnel can only be produced by three countries in the world. But they all refused to sell to China. In desperation, China aviation researchers began a process of independent research and development. Nearly 500 people involved and broke through 31 technical difficulties in seven years, and finally successfully developed a world-leading air compressor. It can blow out 1.6 Mach flow speed, which is equivalent to a wind speed of 1,960 km per hour, close to twice the cruise speed of the Boeing 787. At that time, there were many basic questions that we couldn't figure out clearly. It took about 10 years from design to construction. The largest number of teams was about 12 at one time. There are more than 500 people working at the same time. After the construction of this wind tunnel, we can develop some new test methods to include far more types of test cases that we could not do before. The designing of an aircraft can be better evaluated now. As one of the most advanced large-scale continuous transonic wind tunnels in the world, the FL-62 wind tunnel has achieved a leap from instant burst to continuous large-scale transonic wind tunnels in China. The flow field quality, test data quality, and test efficiency of the FL-62 wind tunnel are all set now as new international advanced indicators. Many technologies such as 80,000 kW main drive compressor and advanced flow field control filled our gap. It is the country's most important equipment in the birth of the aviation industry in the new era, and it is also a key test facility for the aerodynamic test of China's future fighters. There is such a research team in Wairu Science District in Beijing. They have been tackling key issues in the strategic direction of Qian Shuisen's planning and deployment. Over half a century and several generations, they have created the world's largest shockwave wind tunnel with the most advanced overall performance. It has made great contributions to the development of China's aerospace industry. From now on we enter our testing phase. The real problems will be found in this period of testing. Everyone has to be very careful. We move forward step by step from low pressure to high pressure, from air to gas, to ensure our safety. The large machine that Zhang Su Yin and his team are installing and testing is the JF-22, the most advanced ultra-high-speed or so-called hypersonic speed wind tunnel in the world. As the cradle for the development of a new generation of aircraft, the JF-22 ultra-high-speed wind tunnel can levitate at an altitude of 40 to 100 km per hour, up to 10 km per second, equivalent to about 30 times the speed of sound, under working flight conditions. For example, the speed of a general airplane is Mach 0.8, while a fighter jet can fly up to 2.5 times the speed of sound. If we can develop a hypersonic aircraft to fly in the atmosphere at 5 to 10 times the speed of sound, it can reach anywhere in the world in just one or two hours. This shockwave wind tunnel research team originated in the 1950s and 1960s. Under the strategic deployment of Qian Shuisen and Guo Yangwei, the Institute of Mechanics of the Chinese Academy of Sciences established the country's first research team for hypersonic shock wind tunnels. From point of view today, Mr. Qian and Mr. Guo were really masters of looking far ahead. They had foreseen the need for such a technology in China in the future. The wind tunnel is like a cradle of aircraft. With it, 
we can develop engines and aircraft. This is the passion of our team and the goal that we have been striving for for the last 60 years. If the internationally accepted technology so-called standard is used, the research on the shockwave tunnel can only be imitated abroad. Therefore, the scientific research team chose the detonation-driven method along with new technology. This technical route has long been abandoned internationally. Through decades of work, the older generation of scientists realized theoretical innovation driven by detonation. Through reverse detonation and applied new technology, the problem of unstable wind flow has been successfully solved. After entering the baton of the past generation of scientists, Zhang Songlin led the team to open a large-scale detonation-driven shockwave wind tunnel later in the 1990s. When this wind tunnel project was started, many people said that we would not make it. You waste the country's money and resources. We have been challenged and been successful over the last 10 years. Through this long process, we believe that this technology is mature now, and found the theory is correct. From high temperature materials to forming structures, and to sensor design, the research team has repeatedly explored in no man's land and finally achieved a leap from theoretical innovation to technological innovation. In 2012, the JF-12 shockwave wind tunnel with a total length of 265 meters and a test section of 3.5 meters in diameter was successfully developed. Flying conditions of 5 to 9 times the speed of sound in suspension. The runtime exceeds 100 milliseconds, which is an order of magnitude higher than and other shock tunnels of the same type, making it the largest and most advanced shock tunnel in the world. It provides key support for the development of major aerospace products in China. Technology takes 10 to 20 years or more to develop, so we have to endure loneliness. In addition, an innovative concept may not be recognized by everyone. We have to be able to endure criticism. We have to withstand wind and rain. Only in this way, I think we can achieve success from theory to technology from technology to engineering. After the JF-12 shockwave wind tunnel was completed and put into operation, the data indicators and performance were highly recognized by the industry. Jiangsu Lian, however, fell ill. After suffering from a serious illness due to overwork, part of his lungs was cut off. Even when he was still in his hospital bed, he started research of a new generation of shockwave wind tunnels. Because after all, I am doing unprecedented work and researching unprecedented projects. One of the basic ideas of our research and development of the JF-22 wind tunnel is to go to China one day we will have such a space earth shuttle system, which can reduce our current satellite launch and spacecraft launch costs by 90%. From Mr. Qian Shuisen, Mr. Guo Yangwei to Mr. Yu Hongru and then to Professor Zhang, the spirit of the older generation of scientists we have seen has been passed down to the present. In their minds, they all want to serve this country. They rarely care about personal gains and losses. Their influence on us is very big, so we are also following in their footsteps. We also hope to dedicate our youth and our dreams here in the coming decades. As a student of Jiangsu Silver, Han Galai participated in the development of the JF-12 shockwave wind tunnel. In the latest research on the JF-22 hypersonic speed wind tunnel, Galai has become the site leader of the entire project. His goal is to work with the team to build this unprecedented super-large-scale hypersonic wind tunnel. A bursting instant peak power of this new wind tunnel is near to the Three Gorges Dam generating power. Our country is already very strong, but our nation is still rejuvenating. We need to put our personal talents to the fullest in this place. This is our belief. Only by combining your research with national needs can your research results have a high degree of value, and can you show yourself loyalty to the country.